asking, again, Verizon to put people before profits. They have had approval for almost two years to build a cell tower, to have coverage here in Harriman State Park and the Palisades Interstate Parkway, but yet still they drag their feet. Think about how cold it is right now. Can you imagine if you were up on Route 6 in a crashed car down an embankment, the air's coming in and you cannot get help. It really is a horrible situation. You break down here, you get into some kind of accident here, you go to call 911 and you cannot. And then that delays the Woodbury ambulance response, it delays the tuxedo ambulance response if we can try to get here. This is just in peril. This is a disgrace that this is such a dead zone for such a long time over an expansive uh, area. I actually broke down at the roundabout uh, closer to one of the two closer to Woodbury and no cell service. So I had to hitchhike to Woodbury to get to a tow company. And that was the first and to date, it is the only time I've ever had to hitchhike. Um, but that is, I think, emblematic of you know, just how important this real basic issue is to thousands of people who live in our area, who drive through this area, who commute to this area uh, every single day. This is a quality of life issue. Got to watch on TV every day about the great 5G network of Verizons. And here we are. In, in, in an area, <laughs> we, exactly, we have nothing here, and, and it is a matter of life and death. But we rely on cellu cellular communications, as Debbie stated also, and we rely on data communication on that cellular network to be able to do our jobs well. Um, so this is a, a, a very important issue, this is a life-saving issue, uh, and I want to thank Senators Carlucci and Scoopis for pushing this uh, and making this an issue uh, front and center.